Hey guys, so I, uh, my name is Sound of a Cat and this is Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. Welcome back to a new episode and in this one we are getting to know the people of Hydropolis before we are staging a marriage proposal just to meet Queen Nuria and ask her to sign the Declaration of Interdependence. But actually she has a task for us, we will have to fight a beast called Cetus and to get to him and to fight him we will have to do another skirmish. Alright guys, please enjoy. Alright, so left, right and center. Um, I wanna say we're gonna go left first. But This way leads to higher ground and it is forbidden to climb to high places here on Hydropolis. And the view of the ocean from up here is beautiful indeed, such a shame. Oh, I can't go through there, really? Okay, then let's just go this way then. Ah, you are here as well. Uh, yeah, we could do a lot, but actually, do you have some more citizens? You don't have any. Ah, oh, okay. Do we have other items? A Tomlin purse. Yeah, we could get go for more of these if we want to. A pincushion coral, we need that. Awesome. Yes, give me one. Nice. Now we can learn the spell. Awesome. Very good. The rest I don't care about. Uh nah, no no new tasks. There are a lot. And we could do a lot already. So there's another quick travel point. Oh, I can't jump on. Ah! That's the fish we saw in the leaf book. Ah, interesting. What did you get? Scary Wingo. We need five of these. Nice. So, we're gonna talk to you first. Oh. You would do well not to underestimate the city guard. They have eyes everywhere. Nothing escapes them. Nothing. Several of my acquaintances have been thrown into prison after being caught breaking the law when they were certain that no one was watching. I do not understand how they do it, but the guards seem to be able to sniff out wrongdoing wherever and whenever it takes place. It is as tough they have a sixth sense. Uh, it is as though they have a sixth sense. Some claim that Archon leader Leander is... Was it Leander? I would say Leander. Like Oleander. Hmm. Has wondrously acute hearing and that this is how he knows of everything that happens in the kingdom the moment it happens. But surely that cannot be true. Okay. Ah, another quick, tra tra quick travel point. Cool. Ah, that's the inn. Okay, old lady. Oh, yeah? You are visitors here from a distant land, are you not? Then you must have been surprised when you heard of all our very p particular laws. I can assure you that we local folk are equally baffled. There would appear to be no rhyme or reason behind most of them. We are merely victims of Queen Nuria's whims. The law forbidding love is surely the most ridiculous of all. We Hydropolitans have a long tradition of proposing to our intended ones with an engagement ring made from com comely coral. What will become of this tradition now? No one knows what motivates the Queen, and we live in constant fear of what outlandish ed edict might be passed next. And as for Archon Leander, well, the way she treats him is nothing short of a disgrace. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. So, you are number three. What are you telling me? Yeah. You ask me what I know of Queen Neria? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I realize that I know very little. Her Majesty seldom appears before her people. Look. 
You see the, you see the building with all the guards. That is the entrance to the palace. It lies on the ocean floor, you see. And at its top stands the eye. But not the London eye. <laughs> it is supposed to symbolize the benevolence with which Her Majesty watches over us. But the rumors tell of its actually being a device she uses to spy on her own people. <laughs> Whether or not this is true, we certainly never see her. Her interactions with the citizen citizenry are conducted via the Archon Leander, her most trusted aide and advisor. Some even say that in truth it is he who rules our realm. <laughs> but if that is so, what exactly is it that she does? So what are we gonna do now? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure we learned an awful lot about Queen Aria that will be of much use to us. Oh. No, but we sure heard a lot about this Leander character. Oh. Yeah, you thinking the swap might be our way in, Roland lad? Interesting, yeah. If we can get to him, we might be able to use him to get one step closer to the Queen. But how would we get to him? <laughs> oh, I know. Me, me, ask me. <laughs> what? 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 Tell me, tell me, tell me! Yes, Actually, I'll fill you all in, in on the details in a bit. Let's get us one of them thingy bum... Th what? thing -o me bobs first, shall we? Hmm. thing -o me bobs yeah. yeah, exactly. Let's try somewhere that sells accessories and that. Reckon they might have one by there. Mm. Um, well, I don't get quite unless I don't quite understand, but alright then. Leaf book. Three more pages. Um, an unknown vessel arrives. A boat I have never seen before has sailed into the harbor. Where in the world can it be from and who can have sailed it here? Everyday discipline. Bygone. Here's a picture I took when out on patrol around Evermore. It is marvelous to see the change that has come over Gaugia since... Uh, since the he arrived here, he is like a young pup, eager to give all that he can. I must learn from his example. Did you have to post this? Ha! <laughs> Come, you are proud of it. Admit it. Pretty fish, my favorite fish part two. This fine fish is known as a big finned flyer. It uses its powerful fin to swim through the water at high speeds, which makes it a real challenge to catch. But that does not stop us trying. Young Mirfolk have long loved to compete to see who can net one. What a fleshy fish. Yes, it is very bright and shiny. I can see why kids would want to catch one. They are very handsome, are they not? Now, go to the equipment shop in Hydropolis. No, no. Your mate, you don't... Uh, your mate, you don't ha happen to sell bright red coral rings, do you? <gasps> But, but what, what what would you want with such a thing? Never you mind, Sunshine. Have you got one or what? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. <sighs> but the law forbids me to sell such an item. I dread to think how Archon Leander would react if he were to learn of such a flagrant breach of the laws. That said, as far as I know, there is no law that prevents me from simply giving you one. All I ask is that you help me in return a fair exchange. I'm sure you will agree. Yeah. We'll be the judge of that man. All right, spit it out. What kind of help you are you after? Yeah. I have three orders awaiting delivery and I simply do not have the time to deliver them myself. I would be grateful if you could oblige me. You obtained a delivery for Peleus and Proteus and Triton. Righto. A spot of delivery work in exchange for a nice coral ring doesn't sound too bad at all. Let's get moving, Evan. Alright, so we have to deliver this, these three goods. Yes, that's the main quest. Let's do this. Let's get started over here to the right. Ah, you want one. Konnichiwa. Hello there. I have a delivery for you from tried and tested armorers. Yeah. Ah, at last. I can barely express how anxiously I have awaited its coming. Nice. 
I was utterly convinced that Queen Aria would grace me here we her loving citizens with her hallowed presence before it arrived but gods be praised it seems it has reached me in time gosh so does she come out and greet and greet the people often mm. her goodness no why it must be oh decades since we last saw since we last so much as glimpsed her face this is merely a guess of course although it certainly feels that long Suffice it to say that she does not emerge from the palace often. Oh, how long has it been since last we gazed upon her radiant beauty? Not that she need emerge when she has Archon Leander to attend to her every whim. It is he who handles the day-to-day -day running of the kingdom. He is difficult to catch a glimpse of for entirely the opposite reason. His every waking moment is spent rushing around the city, attending to, be, uh, attending to the affairs of the state. Some say that Her Majesty has grown almost too dependent on him, but I would never dare make such a suggestion myself, of course. Ahem. Okay. You need some? Konnichiwa. Hello, I have something for you from tried and tested armorers. Oh yes, thank you. But honestly, what a waste. A waste? What do you mean? I'm a jeweler, and Cypher was once my biggest wholesale customer, but now that love is forbidden, the market for jewelry has dwindled dramatically. <sighs> the package you have just handed me contains items that Cypher has been unable to sell. Things are getting rather desperate, I must say. I would turn to the black market, but there is no escaping the unblinking gaze of the eye. Uh, no. But surely it can't see us here? Um. You have clearly not been in Hadropolis long. The eye sees all. Walls are no obstacle to its scrying magics. We are all of us under its constant gaze, and as soon as it catches a glimpse of any wrongdoing, the guards come running. Many now even hesitate to pick up coins that have fallen onto the street, not because it is illegal, you understand, but simply out of embarrassment at being observed in the act. <sighs> but forgive me, you need not trouble yourself with my bows. Ah, him. Konnichiwa. Hello there, I have a delivery for you from tried and tested armorers. <clears throat> My word, I would never have expected Cyphers to start using tourists as delivery boys. But I have no reason to complain. Thank you, young man. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Not bad, eh? This hat, this hat makes me look more handsome than ever. The ladies of Hydropolis will be unable to resist me. Oh, but I thought you weren't allowed to fall in love. I jest, of course. It will take more than a new hat to cause one as plain as I to fear falling foul of the ban on love. Whoa. In truth, it is a rather sad state of affairs. Still, I must not dwell on it. There are other restrictions in place that troubled me far more. All contentious topics are now prohibited in tavern conversation. Anyone who challenges the opinion of another is immediately apprehended by the guards. Even worse, ever since my friend fell from a rampart on his way home from the inn, we are now forbidden from venturing to high places. I will never forget the face of Archon Leander when he arrived at the scene. It was as though the world itself were about to end. My friend was almost entirely unhurt, but it was only a matter of hours before Queen Naria prom promulgated promulgated maybe um, the new law in order to prevent it from happening again such molly coddling is enough to make one despair oh. <sighs> forgive me rather than bemoan my own prohibitive circumstances I must instead encourage you to enjoy your freedom freedom goodness knows I en I envy you it Tidy, that's all our delivery is done. And I'll tell you what, man, we didn't have here some ju juice tales about the kingdom while we were at it. If I wasn't convinced my plan was an absolute beauty before, I flippin' well am now. Come on, let's get back to tried and tested and claim our reward. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go back and talk to Cyphers. You have completed our deliveries, I see. Thank you. Here's your coloring as promised. You obtained an adoring. There's beautiful, the mate. 
All that I ask is that you inform no one of its provenance. And in the name of the gods, do not allow the gods to see you wearing it. Alrighty. Done with that. So, what's his plan? What's your plan, Lofty? So, that ring. It's one of the ones that woman was talking about, isn't it? What do you mean to do with it, to do with it Lofty? <laughs> something proper genius, that's what. But you'll have to do something for me before I let you in on my little secret. You'll have to promise to call me Mr. Director, sir. Evan, Tani, you're coming with me. Um... Mr. Director, sir. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, I think I know his plan. I know his plan. <laughs> I like it already. <laughs> Action! Action! <laughs> oh, so funny. Why is he walking like that? He said Shanti. Evan. Evan. Nani. Evan. Hora, hurry up. Quick. Engi. Da. Kara. Engi. Eto. Mo. Boku wa. Mo. Genkai nanda. Tatoe. <laughs> Why is he so nervous? ボクと結婚してください。ねえ、あれってもしかしてプロポーズ? <laughs> おい、<笑> <笑><笑><笑> That's me, daughter. So, Kono Stari, Nenga is I know Genko Hande, Nigara O Kakusu Kitana Omae Tatsika Kyohan Nanomo, Joe no Mede Sumete Wakatil, Otonasku, whatever any Stana Yoni. Jay, yeah? Jail indeed, my boy, which means my little plan went off without a hitch, tidy. Hmm, if that be so, where's this Leander swap then, eh? What business do you have with the Archon? And what exactly was your intent in flouting the laws of Hydropolis so flagrantly, I wonder? Uh, no. uh, are you Leander? Yeah. I am. Yatta. Yes, we finally got to meet you. No. My apologies. We were forced to use a little artifice, artifice, mm, to gain your attention. No. Is is that so? And why would you go to such length? Wh who are you? Hi. I am Evan Pettywhisker Tildrum, King of Evermore. I've come to ask you to sign a treaty. <sighs> if you speak of a union, I am afraid I must refuse. Ah. Uh? 
Just like that? Yeah. If it were up to me, yes. But Her Majesty has ordered that you buy a uh, that you be brought before her. Yeah. Queen Aria wants to meet us? Hmm. She does. Although why she would wish to do so is beyond me. Uh, listen to what Queen Naria has to say. Mm. Okay, there's nothing else lying around here, so let's just talk to her. Huh? There is no need to go into tiresome explanations. All has been shown to me. You wish me to sign this treaty of yours, correct? We cannot, Your Majesty. To enter into a union would be... I must advise against it. <laughs> Silence, Leander. Oh. Yes, Your Majesty. Mm. I have but one condition. Oh, no. Of course. And what might that be? Uh. Beneath the sea, not far from here, there is a labyrinth. Deep within it dwells a great sea monster, Cetus. Defeat the creature and return here unharmed. Do so, and I will sign your treaty. No. B <gasps> really? Oi. Really? Leander will accompany you. I have a feeling that this is the Kingmaker that we will slay, and that something bad would happen. Uh, of, of course, Your Majesty. <clears throat> Her Majesty's word is law. I will accompany you to the labyrinth as she wishes. We will see that the best uh, that the beast is destroyed. Ah, but you must forgive me. I have not properly introduced myself. I am Leander Aris Aristides, Archon of Hydropolis. Mm. It's very nice to meet you, Archon Leander. No. So, where exactly is this labyrinth? Yeah. It lies in the sea southeast of Hydropolis. Arr, then we'd best be on our way. Let's set sail and give this Cetus a drubbin, shall we, Mihardis? Leander temporarily joins the party. What lurks in the labyrinth? Go to Lucipe's labyrinth, but first, leaf book. Ah, pretty in pink. Get a load of my dress. I look a million guilders, right? This was taken just before Evan proposed to me. Well, sort of. Anyway, it really suits me, don't you think? Proposed, you say? Bodily must hear more about this, yes? Uh, Tani, are you serious? I haven't proposed to you. No, not really. We were just messing around. You don't think I'd marry Evan, do you? Oh, I see. I was so excited. Proposal in public. Who would dare to propose in Hydropolis? Do they not know how the law views love? It, mu it was misguided and reckless to be sure, yet I cannot forget it. It was such a romantic scene. Why must we be, why, why must we be denied such delights? Truly, I don't understand our laws. What does Queen Naria have against love? Do you think she has ever known it? Perhaps she envies the love of others. All right. Um, yeah, like I said, nothing behind her. Then let's get a move on. So, let's finish this quest. Uh, yeah, you need scary wrinkles. We do have five. Here you go. You did it! You got me the scary wrinkle. Gao is going to be so happy when I give this to him. You, you don't have any idea how you're supposed to eat them, do you? He has big strong teeth, but even he can't shoot through these. Surely. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to eat the shell. I tried, I tried taking it out of the shell and perhaps cooking it with some rice. Mmm, mm, that sounds delicious. I'm sure he will enjoy that. <laughs> I certainly hope so. But do not worry. I will not let my cooking lessons interfere with my spear training. I will be ready to aid you on the battlefield if you need me. Nice. Oh, new recipes. I love new recipes. Now I can cook even more delicious dishes. Thank you so much. 
Just place your order and I'll get cooking. Okay, uh... Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Okay, now we can cook stuff like this. We have cooked this before. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Okay. I'm gonna do it right now. I just wanted to give him the recipe. So... And now we are learning the spell we need. Let's do that. We need sunrise. Yes. Evan now knows sunrise. Awesome. And I think we will have to talk to Bodley again to finish this quest. Or do we? Let's take a look. Oops. Um. <laughs> Report back to Bodley and Goldpaw. Yes. So we're gonna go to her next. Oh! There's an exclamation mark here. Who are you? Yeah. Bow wow! <laughs> you there, young man! If you are looking for a special souvenir of your visit to Goldpaw, I have just the thing. It is almost impossible to put a value on something so precious, but I will be happy to sell it to you for a mere 10,000 guilders. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I don't even have 10,000 guilders. I assure you, young man, you may never have the opportunity to buy this item ever again. I would hate for you to have any regrets. Um, oh, wrong button. I don't have 10,000 guilders. Let's see what he says. Okay. Uh, 10,000 guilders? Buy. You do not have enough money. Mm, okay. So I will have to come back another time then. Bodley, finish the spell. You've learned it, haven't you? This special spell? Sunrise? Yes? Very good, very good. Now, cast it on the token. Abracadabra, hmm? <laughs> the token, it changed. A trial token, ah. Didn't it just... My little kingy poo. But, hmm, it still doesn't look like the one in Bodley's bookie wookies. Oh, does that mean we still can't take the trial? Hmm, perhaps, yes. Something is lacking. Bodley must look a little more at her bookies. You must wait, yes, yes. Yarosh. Come back to the library a little later on, yes? Ta-ta for now, my darlings. <laughs> Creepy old lady. Very good. Um, Cool. There was one quest over here. A long sword, yes. Let's just finish this. Yeah, I've got some stuff. Ah, uh. oh, I could put in some more, then it, and get, then it gets better. Dangerous longsword. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're just gonna create a simple one. Yes. Cool. Um, no. Okay. Ah, Higgledees. Cooking up and leveling up Higgledees. The Higglery is where you can cook up all new Higgledees to help you on your adventure. Pop just the right ingredients in the cauldron and give it a steer. And out they'll fly. No one quite knows how it works, but you can't cook up the same one twice. Auntie Martha says it's because two of the same soul can't exist in the world at once. But who knows? You can also improve your existing Higgledees here using all manner of materials and the fonder they are of the items you have to offer, the bigger the effect will be. Um, okay. Haha! <laughs> okay. Uh, 
I don't even know who's the best. And this is how I level them up. Ah, okay. And these are the ones I'm already using at the moment. Um, like some mushrooms, fur, dairy products, cotton. Uh, oh. This gives him a lot of experience. Ah, okay. And then... Hmm. Interesting. I'm not going to do it right now, but I know that, that this is here. Cool. So, I'm going to give you the longsword. And then this is done. Yep. I'm going to do a next quest as soon as you have any more citizens I can recruit, but you don't. So, that's just it for now. Let's just leave. Hmm, about ready to set sail, are we, your majesty? Yes. Very well, all aboard! It is time to haul up the anchor and hoist the mainsail. Har. So... Okay, I would say a left side around. Just the quick travel. Nice. Okay, let's leave. And here we are! So, this is where Cetus lives. The heart of the labyrinth is guarded by a great number of spirit troops. If we are to make our way there, it must be with an army. Are you kidding? Recommended level 12. Well, we do have a lot of uh, might, which should be okay, but they are in a, at a very high level. God damn it. Uh, should I bolster my forces, just in case? Gives you more military might at the start of the battle, making for an easier fight. Makes your units able to take a good deal of more punishment. Makes your forces arrive more quickly when you call for them. Causes your might gauge to deplete more slowly, allowing you to run further and fight harder. Makes your shock tactics last much longer. Gives the enemy more military might. Aha, okay. Let's go for more HP. Um, this one. And I hope this should be it. All dead, place of death, sacred place, place of Cetus. These must be the souls of those who fell victim to Cetus over the years. It is high time they were put to rest. Come, let us send. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. He's alone? Oh, he's, he's gone. I don't even know what this is. Wanna take a look what this is. Kill him! May you find peace. Okay, I wanna see what this is. Is this something special? Uh, I can't do anything with that, okay. Yeah. Oh shit! Shit. Oh, 
Nice, that as well. The gate is now open. Ah, oh, shit. This is unstoppable. Invincible. To defeat him is unthinkable. Not for us it isn't. We are going to do this, so please, you have to let us through. Just not good. Through the wall, nice. Okay. I need more people. Ah, get out of the, out of the way! Don't get hit. Oh, nice. Okay, now we need to bolster our defenses again. Out of the way. Before he comes up again. Now. Nice. Oh, there are so more, so many more. Damn it. Actually, fireballs, get away. Nice, the red faction is back. Get away. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Guys, attack! Defense. Attack. Get down here. <sighs> this is difficult. Need more people. Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's just stay here. Shoot them. Just shoot them. We've got time. Get away. Okay, um, attack. Ah, shit. Get away. And now. Now, now, now. Nice. Looks like there's nobody else, hopefully. Oh, we made it this far at least. Oh, is there still a way to go? Oh, God damn it. The real fight starts here. Oh, come on. 
I'm afraid it does. Tread carefully now, your majesty. Okay, at least the skirmish is done. That's good. Alright, uh... Right on, let's slap Akitas and get out of your sharpish, really. Sea of the Sea Beast... Uh, seat of the Sea Beast. Alright, let's save it right here. Okay. Seat of the Sea Beast. <laughs> so, where exactly is this Cetus? Fearsome though he may be, Cetus is not is no threat to Hydropolis. So why risk all our lives on such an errand? There must be an important reason for the Queen to have sent you, Lander. Yes, I suppose there must be. And here he comes. Cetus, the Terror of the Tides. Uh oh. Ow, that hurt. That surprised me. Holy shit. Two? Oh no, it's his tail. God damn it. This is so OP, this attack. I forgot how to block. Which button is for blocking? R1 is shooting. Maybe R2. No. R2 is skills. This is weapons. How do I block? How do I block? I don't even know. Shit. Exploding flora. Mm-hmm. You. I nearly got you, buddy. Shit. And you are dead. Come on. Yes! Ah. 
the creature is defeated. Which means we can get Hydropolis to sign the declaration now, right? Uh. Assuming the queen is a, as good as her word, yes. Mm. Oh, by the way, when we defeated Cetus, it dropped this. Do you know what it is? What is this? You obtained the ocean's ether. Nanto. The ocean's ether? So this was what Her Majesty meant for us to retrieve. Could she really intend to? Is everything all right, Leander? Yeah. Yes, very much so. Let us return to the palace. <laughs>